What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. So, this would be my official first video, first official video for the new year. Yeah, we're almost at the end of March, and this is my first video, but I'll explain that in another video. I am not about to explain that in this video. I feel like I give you guys way too many excuses explanations blah 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 all that i do want to address one thing though that i know somebody might say or probably never even noticed but i'm not using my intro anymore because i feel like it has run its course and i'm gonna make a new one i love that intro don't get me wrong i really love that intro it's my favorite one i've made but it's time for something new i feel like i've grown and i feel like i've grown from that you know so it's time to put it to rest stay tuned for the new intro so in today's video as you can see from the title then again i don't even know what i'm going to title this video. but i asked you guys on my spam to ask me questions about living alone or what it's like living alone budgeting rent bills all that type of stuff so i decided to give y'all the tea as best as i can <laughs> so if you want to know how i've been surviving adulthood in kingston on my own all by my lonesome, then just keep on watching. Once again, if you are not following me on my spam and I'm shall be, then you need to go do that. This is where I start asking a lot of YouTube related questions or anything really. I don't really be using my main page to ask a lot of questions anymore, you know? So get at me over there, follow your girl so you can be a part of these things <laughs> so the first question is do you think that when you live on your own the amount of friends you keep decrease no and i say this because no matter where i live or no matter where my friends live we're always gonna be friends it's not really different i go visit my friends they visit me nothing really changed about living on my own so yeah do you feel safe living by yourself oh chat in kingston i never feel safe i do not feel safe here but this current place that i'm at now is the safest i have felt since i have lived in kingston and it's very surprising it's really surprising all the other places that i have lived mind you i'm very risky and also at the time i didn't realize how dangerous kingston was so i was always walking up and down on the road stop doing that all right so the last place to live was mona i do not like walking on that road i would literally go to school I live very near to school. I would run home. Literally, me, I tap my foot in my hand and me, I tear it go home. Or if one of my classmates, them that drive, they'll see me walking, they'll be like, come on the camera and they'll drop me home because... And before anybody said, why you never take a taxi? It was that close. I was not about to spend my $500 to go there when I could walk and it took me five minutes. Do you ever get scared? Yes, I do get scared you know every now and then simply because it's really scary being alone especially when i just moved to kingston i did not know the lifestyle i just didn't know anything at all and it was just so new to me coming like culture shock so yeah it, it is a little bit scary but you just get used to it over time is it worth it i'm 24 this year and i want to go okay yes and no i love the freedom I can literally do whatever I want. I can go where I want. I can do what I want. I can wash plates on my feet like. I can spread my bed if I want. I can come home any hours of the night. I can leave for days and don't come back if I feel like. I can do whatever I want. So in that aspect, I love it here. The cons, however, I have to pay my own bills. And that is the number one con. I have to pay my own bills. I have to do everything for myself. I have to cook for myself. If I had a long day and I'm tired, and let's say I don't want to spend my money and buy food, I'm gonna forget up and go cook it because who's going to cook it for me? I mean, alone, like I gotta do it myself. So you just have to weigh the pros and the cons. And if the cons outweigh the pros, then stay near my your father house for a little while longer until you're ready for that because yeah i didn't want freedom so i didn't mind i didn't mind getting used to it it was no big deal for me so take what you want with that you know do whatever you will with that information 
How do you budget going out with friends while still maintaining bills, groceries, etc.? Okay, so I did write down some of these questions and the answers to some of these questions because I felt like they needed a really in-depth explanation. Personally, I split up all my income. So, for example, if I have four streams of income, I'll use one of them to pay my rent, I use one of them to buy groceries, I use one of them for when I want to buy clothes and when I want to go have drinks. And the other one, I'll use for emergency bills and I'll try it. Keyword, try to save some of it. It is very hard for me to save right now because my expenses have gone up a lot since I moved here. And I'm trying to just, I'm still trying to maneuver and get it right. But for the most part, that's how I budget. How do you cope being alone with your thoughts all the time? How do you get over the negative ones? I am not the best person to ask this because I am an overthinker. I will think myself into depression. I will think of a scenario it's not real i literally make up a scenario in my head and i will just sit there for hours thinking about it and i'll either start crying or i'll get upset or something i'm really not the best person to ask this i really need to know how to stop overthinking how to get over it i kind of try to just snap myself out of it because it's like girl this is not real relax 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 take a take a deep breath go outside go watch a youtube video because that's really all i do with my spare time i love watching youtube videos i don't i'm not a movie person but i really watch showing them something my thing is youtube i will watch anything on youtube so i go watch a youtube video or i go edit or something or i call one of my friends and bust them ears or vent until i feel better or if all else fails and none of my friends are available or nobody wants to talk to me or i feel like the world is against me i'll go to sleep so try those and see if those help and if you guys have some suggestions or some tips please feel free to leave those in the comments because me and the support of them we need it we really do need it how do you ensure that you eat not necessarily healthy but eat on time and substantial food so when i moved here and even at the beginning of the year i was doing excellent in that department as i said if you're on my spam you would have noticed that i posted that your girl gained a little weight you probably take it off by now but you know i did gain some weight because i was eating at least two times a day as my wake up me and one of my friends would literally say yo let's go have something let's go cook make we'll make something we kind of use each other as motivation to get up and cook because she kind of stay like me. If nobody is there to say, come, make we go eat something more. Come on, come to the kitchen, make we go cook something. Then I'm not gonna eat. And that's just that. I'm glad you said not healthy because I don't care for the go health. I really don't care. I'm just trying to eat. So I just need to eat first. And then afterwards I can think about the calories and the this and the that and yeah. I don't drink soda though, I don't really drink juice, I don't really like sweet things anyway, so I guess I'm kind of on the healthy road. But yeah, just make sure you eat in the morning. My thing is, if I don't eat anything for the day, I am making sure I eat breakfast because that is the most important thing for me and that is what I can run off. But if I eat breakfast, I'm good for the day, to be very honest. I'm probably not the best person to ask anything about eating because I'm still trying to find means and ways of practicing better eating habits i'm also going to start meal planning so i really need to buy some containers and then cook and just have my meals for like three days and then when the three days are done and the food done i plan for another three days and keep it going so i always have food to eat next question is how to budget when buying groceries a couple people will ask me how i do that you can do it two ways sometimes i do it two ways so i either buy monthly or bi-weekly fortnightly every two weeks don't know what mess about if you know you're on a budget so you know you cannot afford certain things don't go follow your friend and buy up the bag of bag of strawberries and shrimp and lobster and this and this and this knowing damn well you can't afford it we're starting off small and we're working with our budget so buy what you need buy the things that you eat but buy what you really need and after you've bought everything that you need then you can pick up stuff that you want 
if the budget is there don't just pick up items pick up items to make meals like different meals for example you know if you pick up potato you can mash it you can cut it up and put the curry chicken you can cut it up and make fries and have that as a snack you can do all type of things with potato if you buy chicken you know you can curry they can fry they can brown stew they can do anything with it and you know if you buy rice whatever you can always like mix and match the meal it is very very important that you actually make a list sometimes i am that person that will just go to the supermarket and just think about things and take up things and when i get home it's like i still have not bought anything that i need i'm mean, gonna buy no what i need and if you do write a list make sure you stick to it because i am also that person who will bring a list with me and end up buying things when they're on the list so please just stick to the list stop by cheese tricks stop by stop by cheesies cheese zits and whatever buy some cinnamon rolls and some bun and cheese some cheese bread some bola stuff like that because guess what so when you buy 50 million bigfoot or whatever and you're hungry and that's what you decide to pick up let me tell you a secret you're still gonna be hungry because it's not filling if you eat a cinnamon roll or like a bun and cheese or whatever then it's a little more filling maybe not much but it is a lot more filling than the three cheese tricks and snacks are getting very expensive these days i'm gonna like that i'm gonna know all them expect people live i'm gonna know all them expect people afford things these are just some things that i do when i'm shopping for groceries i am nowhere near in life where i can you know just pick up any and everything that i see on youtube or whatever me i go slow and steady with the rest i'm gonna make nobody influence me into broken myself and then enjoying the meal for one day yeah don't take ice now i will be moving on to the question that everybody keeps asking me especially since i posted my moving vlog shelby how you find places to rent how much is a one bedroom apartment where do i find this where do i find that don't worry i got ya i tried i tried to get some information i understand first thing you need to know your budget don't go looking in certain areas where you know that rent is sky high. So I'm going to be talking mostly on a student perspective, even though I'm not a student anymore, but it can apply. I don't know how it works for UE, but for UTEC, the student services office or whatever, they have a list of off-campus accommodations. You just need to go over there or you can send them a message on Instagram. If I remember the ads, that I'll put it up on the screen and you just ask them to send you the list of off-campus accommodation and we'll have the name of the landlord, the address, what utilities are included, the cost and what gender they're looking for, what type of room it is, what you get with it. So for example, if you get your own bathroom or if it's a shared kitchen or whatever, stuff like that. The places you can also look is the Jamaica Classified Online. They also have an Instagram page, but you just use the website. It's kind of confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. If you don't want to do that, get up on Sunday mornings, bright and early. I mean, early. Go from eight o'clock, go to the gas station or wherever they sell newspapers, get the Sunday Gleaner, make sure you go to the classifieds and you call the numbers that are there. Set up an appointment, and go and view the place. Don't ever go to look at any place by yourself because sometimes a lot of these people that are advertising in the newspaper, they're kidnappers. Yeah, scammers or whatever. And again, me not trust them. So, me not upon that. Bring somebody with sense. Don't just bring a friend away and have no idea where you go for. And if you're a female, I don't think you should bring another female. Bring a male so if anything goes wrong, you know, they can hustle when you do call them just ask them if they could send pictures or videos of the place so you can at least see what you're getting yourself into before you waste your time and go to visit ask everything you need to ask on the phone i mean you, if you want you can go to the place and ask the questions there but I mean a lot of up and down things so i ask everything i want on the phone questions you can ask is it a shared space do you have your own bathroom? Do I have to share a bathroom? Do you have a laundry room? 
Do I have to pay for the washing machine? Do you have a dryer? Do I have to pay for that? If you drive, do you have a garage where I can park my car? Stuff like that. What utilities are included? Because some people, they have lights, water, internet, gas. Some of them, all those things are included. Some of them, not. You might have to pay a one by yourself or a two by yourself. You probably have to get your own Wi-Fi. Something, just ask those questions. Are visitors allowed? That is my thing, you know. If visitors are not allowed, I am not going. Am I 12? No. I have to have my visitors. Excuse me? Anyways, that is just me still. If you just really need somewhere to go or you don't care to have visitors, you're not a friend and that's fine with you, then by all means, sweetheart, go. I live that one place where we couldn't have visitors. Well, we couldn't have male visitors. Anyways, ask if the landlord lives on the property. My secret to you guys, run. If they live on the property, don't go there because they're very annoying. It's, it's like them just a watch, watch your every single move. You have literally no privacy, none at all. I, I zero out of 10 recommend, really and truly. I lived at one place that even had cameras there. It was such an invasion of privacy. I didn't like it. But at the time, you know, whenever I have no little boyfriend, we never really have much friend or nothing. So it never really matters to me. But now, I can't get me to that. I'm a girl. <laughs> try to get a contract. Really and truly, try to get a written contract or make sure you get receipts every month when you pay your rent. So them can't try no with you. So ask them, you know really, I mean, you'll find that out for yourself, but I mean, it's, it's no big deal to ask if area is easy to get transportation or you're always afraid to take a taxi to and from. These times, I'm telling y'all, take a Uber, take a Mortec, take a Gatch Pro, because them little red plate taxi, I'm so scared of them. I used to take them hard, I never have a care in the world. Thank God I'm still on this planet, but Jesus. It's really hard to pay all that money sometimes, but I would rather pay to call a taxi than get my life taken away from me for $120. And last but not least, as I say, know your rights. You know my situation with this girl with me moving out and they decided they're kicking me out with under a month notice. The only reason why I didn't fight back or whatever is because I wanted to leave. So it was no problem for me at all. But if I really had nowhere else to go and I couldn't find a place or anything, wouldn't they go put out me? Crazy. Anyways, know your rights. Research the area. When I just moved here, I didn't know the bad areas from the good areas until, I think I was going somewhere one time and somebody was like, you mind you're going to this by yourself? Yeah. Just research these areas and if you see it upon like a nice name, make sure you Google where it is before you go. Don't just get up and go in a taxi and say, okay, take me to this address and when you go, you realize you're in the front of the town, ghetto. Mm -mm. No. So for those students, accommodations, for example, they can range anywhere between 20 grand to like 45 grand, to be honest. The 20 grand, you know, yeah, get them places like Tavern, Augustone, up that side, the Gordon Town. Yeah. When it starts up to 30 grand now, you're in the Mona area. Yeah, the 30 to 45, Mona, Ligani, Barbican area. As for apartments, I still am not 100% sure how that works. I'm not in an apartment yet, so I can't really say too much on that, but I do know some sites that you can look at for apartments. So you have Get Keys, SNL Properties, you have Coldwell Banker, property as ja.com. And if I remember anymore, you see them popped up on the screen or scream, you country on the screen. Or if I don't put them on the screen, then I'll put it in the description box below. I think that is all the information I can truly give on that because that's just my experience. As I gain knowledge, I will gladly spread it to you guys because I wish I could find this information when I needed it and I couldn't. So I got y'all back. Somebody asked me if I prefer female or male landlords. Sometimes they can sweet up the man landlord them. But sometimes they're perverts. And with the women, sometimes, you know, they're more empathetic towards you, but they're very teeth. And they're not like nonsense. So it's it's a half and half. I I can't really choose to be very honest. Separate and apart from those things, I know a lot of people ask me if you know if I just get lonely, 
or if it's hard being on my own it is it really is actually i'm not fully in love with it but the fact that i have my freedom to do whatever i want that keeps me going sometimes the bills just get too much and i'm just so happy that i'm in a position where i can manage i am obviously nowhere near where i can be spending racks on things that don't matter because my family make sure say my bills them pay see if you know say your bills them need for pay and your friends say them want god to dance here and you know saying on a clothes and you're gonna take your money buy clothes and you're gonna take your money got a party today you're careless and your priorities are in the wrong place stay home sometimes they can stay home like you don't need to go everywhere with your friend them you don't always need to be going out you don't always need to spend money on unnecessary things if you know that your pocket cannot reach it sometimes we used to feel away when for example people will invite me to go somewhere and i'm like you know some other money you know i'm gonna have the bill there for pay i'm gonna have the bill there for pay and i would feel bad sometimes because i'm like no i'm not gonna go this time i'm gonna let myself some of my bills for pay and i'm not gonna dip into that just to go out although yolo but uh, sometimes you have to put your responsibilities first that's what being an adult is you can't just go with every jump on an act an adult you have to take care of yourself unless you have a money man will take care of you or your parents are taking care of you or somebody but i don't and a lot of us don't so we have to put our finances our responsibilities first that's really all i have to say i hope this video was helpful i hope you liked it i just hope you liked it i hope you like this new little setup i'm trying i don't know i'm just experimenting at this point because i don't know let us try something new let us try something new thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!